So you've launched your WordPress site and now you're wondering, what's next? Am I missing anything important? Here's the truth, most people forget the critical stuff right after launch. Not flashy design or clever branding, but the behind the scenes work that actually makes a site secure, fast and visible. If your site isn't protected, optimized or indexed, and you don't know what some of that means, you need this video, like now. So let's get to it with the five most overlooked steps you need to take after your WordPress site goes live. And as always, the links for anything mentioned in this video are in the description below. Number one, set up backups. You might not think about backups until it's too late. A plugin crash, bad update, or hosting issue could wipe out your site in seconds. So don't risk it. Install a backup plugin like Duplicator. It can run automatically daily or weekly backups and store them safely offsite like on Google Drive, Dropbox, or cloud storage. Don't keep backups only on your hosting server. If that server fails, your backup goes with it. A great thing to do is to run a test restore on a staging site so you know your backups actually work. Now, many hosting providers provide staging environments for you to do that. Before big updates, run a manual backup just in case something breaks. Think of backups like a safety net. You hope you never need to use them, but when something goes wrong, they're a lifesaver. Number two, secure your site from day one. Security isn't just for big e-commerce sites or tech companies. Even small business websites are targets. In fact, 30,000 sites get hacked every single day. But here's the good news. Basic protection takes just a few minutes. Start by installing a security plugin like Security. It blocks attacks, scans for malware, and alerts you when something's not quite right. Next, look at changing your default login username. Don't use one that's very familiar or attached to your site or even written on your site. And then also make sure you use a long, unique password. You can also enable a two-factor authentication to make it nearly impossible for anyone to break in. And then keep your plugins, themes, and WordPress version updated. Outdated code is one of the most common ways sites get hacked. Set these up early and you'll avoid the stress of a compromised site later. Number three, speed up your website. Here's something most people overlook. Site speed actually affects everything, from bounce rate to search rankings. Studies show that if your site takes more than three seconds to load, 40% of visitors will leave. So here's how to speed things up without needing a developer. Start by using a caching plugin like WP Rocket. This creates static versions of your site so your pages load instantly. You can also resize and compress images before uploading. Use something like Photoshop for this, but if that's not possible, then definitely recommend using something like Optimal, which is a plugin that will compress your images when you upload them to your site. This one's a simple one, limit your plugins. Only keep what you actually use and get rid of everything else. Too many plugins can slow everything down. Also, you can test your site speed by using Google PageSpeed Insights or GT Metrics. These free tools give you specific tips to improve performance. A faster site makes visitors stay longer, click more, and buy more. Number four, set up SEO and analytics. One common mistake, thinking your site will just show up on Google. The truth is Google doesn't automatically know you exist. You need to put yourself out there and get search engines attention. Something to check first, go to settings and then reading in your WordPress dashboard and make sure discourage search engines from indexing this site is unchecked. Next, install an SEO plugin like All-in-One SEO. It lets you edit how your pages appear in search results and helps generate an XML sitemap along with helping with a lot more of the things I'm gonna mention next. Then submit your sitemap to Google Search Console. It's a free tool that helps Google crawl your site and alert you to any issues. You'll also wanna install Google Analytics using Monsters Insights to track who visits, where they come from, and what content they engage with. It's really important to know. 
Also, you want to update your permalink structure by using the post name structure for cleaner URLs. These simple settings help search engines understand your content better. If SEO sounds overwhelming, just focus on these basics first. They'll make sure your site is actually findable. And finally, number five, plan for ongoing maintenance. Here's the truth, launching is not the finish line. Websites need regular care to stay fast, secure and relevant. As I mentioned before, keep WordPress core themes and plugins updated. Updates fix bugs and close security holes. You can use the site health tool under tools and site health in your dashboard to check for hidden issues. Try to schedule in regular content updates, even small ones like adding testimonials or new posts because Google loves fresh content. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably saying, Ryan, this sounds like a lot. And if you don't have time, consider hiring a WordPress maintenance service like the one we provide at WP Beginner. It's a monthly cost, but it protects your bigger investment, your website. You see, your site is like a car. It needs oil changes and checkups to keep running smoothly. A little maintenance now saves you from big problems later. So you've already done the hard work of building your site. So don't let simple oversights undo it. Take 30 minutes or more today to lock in some of these steps and you'll save yourself time, money, and stress down the road. If this video helped, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. What step are you going to take care of today? I look forward to reading those comments. I'm Ryan, this is WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video.